Jerry at Fair Oaks. But you said you couldn't run fast. I can, when I've got a reason. Watch the corner. Here's Court Street. Yeah. Gee, there would be people on the street when we're in a hurry. Say, we'd better slow down or we'll be running into someone. Uh, no time to slow down. We'll dodge them the best we can. Okay, I'm right with you. Well, there's not much further to go. Uh, I'm glad of that. Still got the note, Jerry? Yeah, right here in my coat pocket. I'd hold my hand on it, but I need my arms to help me run. Well, I... Hey, look out, Jerry! Whoops! Oh, gee, Mister, I, I mean, sir, I, I, I'm sorry. I, I didn't see you. you. You knocked the wind out of me. I'm sorry, sir. We, we, well, we're in a hurry. Yes. Yes, I can see that. You should be more careful. I, I might have been hurt. Uh, we're, we're very sorry, sir. Well, I suppose there is nothing you can do about it. All right. But be careful the next time. Yes, sir. Thank you, sir. Come on, Lee. All right. Gee, he didn't like that at all. I, I didn't see him. I was feeling for the letter. Well, here we are. Yeah. Say, if we meet an officer, do we salute when we're running? Uh, no. No, never salute an officer when you're running. Okay. That's all I wanted to know. Whoa, watch the arch. Yeah, gotcha. I hope Captain Gardner's in his office. If he isn't, we'll... Just hunt until we find him. Say, do you realize that what we're doing is pretty important? If it isn't, we've certainly tired ourselves out for, for nothing. Uh, watch the steps. Yeah. Hey, you plebes. What's the idea? Sorry, sir. We're on an errand for, for Captain Gardner. Come on, Lee. Here's his office. Uh-huh. He isn't here. We'll knock again. Jerry and Lee, come in. <clears throat> Here, sit down, men. Better get your breath. Yes, sir. I guess we'd better. We we ran all the way from Mr. Linwell's car. Linwell's car? What's the matter? Isn't Harold there? Yes, sir, he's there. Well, is he all right? I mean, nothing's happened. Uh, no, nothing's happened, sir, but we saw the man who must have stayed on Woodman's Island. The man who stayed on the island? Where is he? He was in Mr. Linwell's cottage. Uh, he threatened Mr. Linwell about Harold. Oh, now, 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 wait a minute, boys. Wait a moment. Better settle down and let me have the story in a little more detail. All right. Now, you saw the man who stayed on the island. He went to Mr. Linwell and threatened him about Harold? That's right, sir. Hmm. When the man went, Mr. Linwell wrote a letter to Mr. Layton. Layton? Uh, he's the president of the company, uh, the Layton Aircraft Company. Hmm. Mr. Linwell was testing the bomber made by the Layton Company. Oh, yes. And he sent the letter. No, sir. He thought it would be better to be delivered personally, so he gave it to us to give to you. Hmm. He wants you, sir, to give it to Mr. William Layton. Good. I suppose that's the best way. Uh, here's the letter, sir. Uh, hmm. Well? It's in this pocket. Well, well, where is it, Jerry? Well, I, I thought I had it in this pocket. I, I know I did. Oh, holy smoke. Well, you didn't lose it. Well, I must have. <laughs> Lee, when I bumped into that man, it, it must have been jarred out of my pocket. Where? On Court Street, just catty-cornered from Max Place, almost on Fair Oaks Avenue. We've got to go back there and get it. Oh, I'll say we do. If anybody else picks it up, they might read it. Come on, Lee. 
We'll be back in a minute, Captain Gardner. Well, just a minute, boys. I'm going with you. Uh, I beg your pardon, sir, but the station wagon was sitting out in the driveway. Maybe we can use it and save time. Yeah, we got to get that letter. Good. Come on, boys. Oh, gee. Now what, Jerry? It's almost time for recall. Well, we won't bother about that now, boys. I'll take care of your excuses. Right now, the important thing is to pick up that letter before it gets into anyone else's hands. And I hope whoever left the station wagon here doesn't think it's stolen when he comes back. You haven't time to do anything but get in and drive away. All right. Well, hop in quickly, boys. Yes, sir. You uh, say just down from Fair Oaks Avenue, is that right, Jerry? Yes, sir. I remember the place because I tried to keep from bumping into the man and almost ran into the big tree there. Oh. Look, there's Max standing in front of his place. He's scratching his head. He can't figure out what this is all about. Uh, point out the place, Jerry. Mm, we're not quite there yet. Oh, there, there, right up there, about 50 feet. Uh, that's the tree. All right. Here we are. Hop out, Jerry. You too, Lee. Yes, Take a look around. I'll stay with the station wagon. Yes, sir. Let's see. It It was right here, wasn't it, Lee? Well, I'm sure it was. Gosh, maybe the letter blew away. Oh, there isn't any wind. What's the matter? We can't find it, sir. Well, look carefully now. In the grass along there. It doesn't seem to be here, sir. And there's nothing at all in the street. Somebody did pick it up. I'll bet they did. Well, it isn't here. That's a cent. You... Hey. Find it? No. Holy smoke, I, I just happened to think of something. Well, what? What'd you think of? Come on, out with it. Come on. Well? Captain Gardner, I know where that letter is. You know where it is? Well, let's get it. I, I don't think we can. Oh, for gosh sakes, Jerry. Don't be so mysterious. Listen, that man who bumped into me. Well, what's he got to do with it? Well, what about him, Jerry? Wait, I, I gotta take this slow because I, I'm not quite sure. Lee? Yeah? Maybe, maybe I'm just imagining this, but, well, when he talked, who, who did he talk like? You mean he, he sounded like somebody? Yeah. Who? Why, well, don't... Yorga. Oh, what kind of talk is this? Come, come, come on, out with it. Yorga is the man's name who was on the island and who threatened Mr. Linwell about Harold. You think it was Yorga, then, who ran into you? No, no, it wasn't Yorga, but he talked like him. Had a kind of a funny accent. Sure, I, I didn't notice at first. We were running, uh, Lee and kind of excited, but we didn't pay any attention to him, but now... I... Jerry, you're right. I see. He took the letter, Jerry. It would have been easy for him to know where it was because I just felt for it. He must have seen me. He know where to grab. Hmm, I don't know whether that's good or bad. What do you mean, sir? Well, here, hop in. We'll go back to Linwell's cottage. I'll tell you what I meant while we're driving over. Yes, sir. Now, I said I don't know whether it's good or bad, because it may be one or the other. It's good that it didn't fall into a person's hands who was entirely unacquainted with the case, because it might have meant that the person might have taken it, the letter, I mean, to the police here or the newspapers. But it's bad, because whoever those men are who threatened Linwell, they'll know now that Linwell intends to carry the thing through to fight them. I see. And all this would happen to poor little Harold. Oh, Harold doesn't know, does he? Yes, sir. Yes, his father told him all about it. Mm, well... I guess that's the wisest thing in the long run, because sooner or later, Harold would find out. And now that he knows it, he'll be careful of himself. I mean, he'll know why we kept with him all the time, and he can help us more now. Oh, there's Mr. Linwell's cottage, sir. Yes, I know. All right, hop out, boys. Oh, yes. uh, oh Captain Gardner. Yes, Lee? Uh, do you see that house down at the end of the block, on this same side? Yes, what about it? Well, we saw Yorga go in there. Hmm, Mrs. Cooper's boarding house. <laughs> he certainly didn't lose any time getting close to Harold's father, did he? You know, what gets me is that he doesn't seem to care if anyone sees him or knows that he's in town. Yeah, that is funny. Well, I think I know the reason, but we'll see Mr. Linwell now and talk the whole thing over with him. Uh, in this way, Captain Gardner. All right, Lee, you lead the way. Yes, sir. Ring the bell, Lee. Yes, sir. And to think this whole thing started when we went over to Woodman's Island to see who was in the shack. Oh, I think it started farther back than that, Jerry. You know, I never will be... Well, 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 this is a surprise. Come in, Captain Gardner. 
Boys, I didn't expect you back this afternoon anymore. We thought we'd better drop in. Better drop in? Yes, something has come up. Harold is here, of course. Yes, he's upstairs. I, I persuaded him to lie down. He was pretty excited and nervous. Oh, I'm afraid all this isn't too good for him. No, it isn't. But come in and sit down. Oh, thank you. Uh-huh. Now, you said you thought you'd better drop in. What's happened? Uh, Mr. Linwell, your letter that you gave the boys here to deliver to me didn't reach me. Didn't reach you? I, I don't get it. Jerry? Yes, sir? Perhaps you'd better tell Mr. Linwell what happened. Yes, sir. Well, Mr. Linwell, Lee and I were running to take the letter to Captain Gardner. We were almost to the school when I bumped into a man, or he bumped into me. I guess I... He did. Yeah. Well, uh, there isn't much to tell, except that when he bumped into me, he got the letter from my pocket. Was it your guy? No, sir. We would have recognized him. I see. Well, that's that. I guess Yorga does mean what he says. Uh, pardon me. Captain Gardner. Yes, Lee? What did you mean when you said you knew why Yorga was... Well, was so careless about being seen here in Fair Oaks. I think Mr. Linwell can answer that question. Yes, I can. You see, Lee, Jerry, Yorger's pretty confident that I won't do or say anything, that I won't carry out my plans to expose him and whoever he's working for. But why? The answer is upstairs. Gee, you mean Harold? That's it. Well, look, there, there's something I don't understand. Yes? What's that, Jerry? Well, why don't you just have Yorga and the other man arrested? Then they can't bother you and Harold anymore. Once they're in jail, well, everything will be all right. Well, Jerry, that has an answer. A very good answer. Jorg and this other men aren't in this alone. If I testified, identified Jorga, and had him arrested and jailed, I know, I'm certain that within two hours, his accomplices would try to get at Harold. Somehow, some way, they'd do it. That's right. So they've got you just where they want you. Almost, Lee. That's what we're trying to do, figure our way out. That's why they can be pretty sure of themselves. They believe that you won't do a thing as long as they threaten you through Harold. I don't know what to do. I know that the government men will come into the case, but they wouldn't be able to do a thing if I don't identify Yorga as one of the men who tried to bribe me. Harold's safety depends upon my keeping quiet and refusing to identify Yorga. It's pretty hard to decide. However, we must... Uh, I'll answer it, Mr. Linwell. It's a doorbell. Oh, thanks, Jerry. Uh, Linwell... Don't you think that these men may be bluffing? Oh, no, they wouldn't be. There's too much at stake. They took photographs of the plane after it crashed. They want to get out of the country with the pictures. That's why they're threatening me, to give them time to clear out. There wasn't anyone there. No one there? No, just this envelope. Whoever delivered it just rang the bell and then ran away. Huh. Well, let me see it, Jerry. Hmm. Addressed to me. Yes. Well, look. The letter you gave me to give Captain Gardner is in the envelope. Yes. The letter... And this. Read it, Captain. <clears throat> Linwell, it's a good thing for your son this letter was never delivered. <laughs> 